Good morning. Britain breaking news in the last half an hour. President Trump has arrived in South Korea as tensions with the nuclear armed North continue to escalate. Pay your fair share of tax. Simon Cowell and Lord Sugar speak out against the stars, revealed to be sending money abroad, avoiding huge bills. I've always had that in my own life. You pay your tax, that's it. Breaking overnight, the US Air Force admits it failed to disclose the Texas gunman's violent criminal past, which could have prevented him buying a gun. We'll bring you the latest from the scene of the shooting. And Britain's best lost soap stars went head to head last night, but it was Coronation Street and Emma Dale who came out on top of all the latest from the inside soap awards. Tuesday, 7th of November, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. So our breaking news this morning is uh, US President Donald Trump arriving in South Korea, just 35 miles from the border with the rogue state of North Korea. Well, his visit comes just hours after the White House pledged to spend an extra £3 billion on missile defences to counter the threat from Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un and his growing nuclear weapons arsenal. Our chief correspondent Richard Gaysford is in Seoul uh, this morning. Richard, um, President Trump has been ratcheting up the rhetoric against Kim Jong-un. Um, what is the feeling in Seoul? Because they're right there on the border, aren't they? If there was a conflict, the people of Seoul, 20 odd million people, would be right in the thick of this. Are they nervous? Are they worried? Do they think it's just talk? What is the mood? Well, people are always worried about what's going to be happening over the border. In fact, you can hear some people behind us getting very excitable. Uh, this is a crowd that very much likes the idea of action against Kim Jong-un. They are supportive of Donald Trump and they've turned out in large numbers to see him here this morning. And he's come with certainly a toned-down rhetoric 